see. What other questions do we have? Uh, James, you said you had a question. Ooh, there's, there's a mimosa. Somebody's named Mimosa. <laughs> we all went five. James, you're muted. James, you're muted. We don't know what you're saying. Amazing. There he is. There he is. Got that. I was just testing <laughs> y'all. That's what I was doing. So uh, uh, yeah, since I appreciate the live stream, Matt and Cup, what what would you recommend for alternative income for slow years? Yeah. You know, um, I don't know what that is. I mean, it's been your first year really gonna, slow. You're only going to be slow if you want it to be slow. I mean, that's, I mean, I hate to be exactly. sounded egotistical yep. and cocky and all that yep. stuff because I am. But, uh, guys, you, it goes back to this is a people business, man. Get your people skills up and go out and sell yourself, man. I mean, yeah. I am, I will say this until I'm blue in the face. Okay. If it wasn't for good looks and personality, I could not survive in this world. It's not because I'm smart, it's not because I'm special, it's not because I was born with any special superpower DNAs or anything like that. It, 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 this is just about being a person and going out and, and selling your wares. And that's what it's all about. If you just sit yeah. there and do nothing, you will continue to do nothing. Activity breeds activity. So, you know, take it for what it's worth. Absolutely. So, now, with that being said, is there some decent side gigs you can do out there? Um, you know, I mean, everybody knows about the gig economy. Everybody knows there's all these apps out there. You can get work, you know, just pick and choose what you want to do. As for me, I'm going to focus on things that, are going to help my skills, especially being new. Early on, one of the things I was doing early on is I signed up for it. And of course, I'm going to hear the big moan from all the, all the you know guys that have been around forever. I did pilot on demand, inspectors on demand. I've done <laughs> I've done all that Man. stuff to get my skills to to learn how to be good at what I do and learn something. And that's what I take photo assignments. I even did. I mean, I even still do some photo assignments for. He stuff. even does auto claims, people. I'm yeah. just. And, and that's where I was going next. Hey, we gotta talk, man. We gotta talk. Is it's uh, you know, get into auto, man. There's auto work out there every single day, and yeah. I am in the I am in the mecca of auto appraisers and property adjusters. And I work every single day. I get property claims offered to me every day. I get auto claims offered right. every day. There's people sitting at home saying that I don't get any work. I can't get offers. Why am I special? I'm not. The, right. The name of the game is sales. And what you're doing, you're looking for sales. And the sales that other people aren't willing to accept, like the Sedgwick, these photo assignments, these other things that are just beneath other adjusters right now, you're taking those because that's adding to your sales. You exactly. know, that's yeah. it. I mean, you, you can't stop. It's not your up to you whether or not those assignments are out there. They're out there whether you like it or not. And you're either going to profit from those assignments That's right. or you're not. And I'm sure if you could find a, an assignment that pays more, you're going to go with that. But if that assignment is there, if you have the capacity to handle it and to take that money from that company, why wouldn't you do that? It doesn't make any sense. There, there's, there's a dollar ice cream sundae and there's the McFlurry. Right. McDonald's makes money off of both. Right, exactly. That's right. They're That's both right. ice cream. Yep. They're both claims. And, and, hey, and what that being said is, is, you know, you determine what it is that you're willing to work for. Okay, you don't yep. have to take these assignments if if you don't think it's worth your time and you think that okay, I'm not going to take this property inspection assignment because by the time I do that, I can knock out three auto claims. Right. Okay, which is what Get I did today. I turned down. Yeah. A, I turned down a scope and right property claim because I had offered to me some time and expense semi truck claims today which one's my which one's going to make me more money in the long run it's going to be that teeny semi truck that's been wrecked versus that scope and right claim that I'm going to get paid a flat fee for right. so you you know you you have to pick and choose what you want and to the guys that sit there and go well you know you're you're ruining this business no, I didn't ruin it. it was already ruined before I got here right, yeah, right. That's ridiculous. so yeah <laughs> so yeah I think like, you're looking at this way is, oh go ahead James the last thing I want to say is, is that, you know, you look at the marketplace as well and, you know, without saying names or anything like that, there's, there's companies out there that they know what the market is and they're willing to pay you the market. And whenever you have companies that are offering you 25 to 30% lower than what everybody else is willing to pay you, um, you know, those, some of those companies are thriving and they're big and they're, they're still doing business at that lower paying people that lower rate. Um, but that doesn't mean that you have to. Okay, it doesn't mean you have exactly. to. Get it. I there are 
two or three firms that I will not work for. And I, and even coming in as a new IA, I knew what my time was worth and I wouldn't take it just because I was desperate, you know, to, to take work. Exactly. I chose to go someplace else and do something different. So don't, don't take work just because somebody says, well, you don't have experience, so you're not worth this. Uh, no, you are worth it, man. I mean, look at what the average is and, and don't, don't sell yourself short. So, yeah. And I, I would just, I would just add, um, <clears throat> when you're, we're talking about the downtime, what can you do in the downtime? We're doing a slow year stuff like photo assist. I mean, it's, it's not the ideal. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I firms have told me, cause I asked them about this. They say, listen, we want to field trained, licensed, certified professional adjusters who can make coverage decisions, answer questions and do the whole client, the whole package because companies like pilot and Sedgwick and Crawford and everybody else, they're going to make a lot more money if I go out as a full fledged adjuster than if, if I'm just out there snapping pictures with my phone. Right. Because you know, the right. carrier is doing most of the claim. They're paying me $112 or whatever it is. Right. But the thing about it is it's like, you know, and I think the heart of the question was, is like slow time stuff. Like this photo assist stuff is like, Everybody has a checking account, right? And at the end of the month, right. and you, you look at it and you're like, how did I spend so much money? And you like scroll through your statement and you're like, everything is like, you know, two digits and some cents, you know, maybe three digits and some cents, like $135 here, but it's like $12, $3, $4. And you spent like thousands of bucks in that month, nickel and diamond. Right. With photo assist, you can, and, and stuff like that, you can, a nickel and diamond, right? So you can kind of like nickel and dime yourself back into it's not a quite supplement. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So you can take it's the edge bad. off of. I would say, listen, and, and honestly, it's not it's not ideal. It is, and and I talking to IA firms last year, they were like, "This is the way everything's going. We got to jump on board. We have to do, you know, we have to put together our own programs, or we're going to get left in dust." This year, right? I asked the same people about it. They're like, "Well." It's not exactly working out the way the carriers exactly wanted it to, so we're kind of like, you know, we're 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 you know we're on the fence about it. It changes, so right. like, wait a year, wait a two years, wait three years. I'm telling you right, the technology is moving really fast right now. It's, it we can't sit here and say that drones and, and AI and photo assist and untrained people doing our job is going to happen, and we're going to be gone like the buggy whip. It's not necessarily true. right. Listen, what, what, what you got to accept is that the technology is rising, but we've hopefully we've all known that for quite some time. Technology is rising and it is going to be a more difficult field for people moving forward in the future. But what you have to understand is that that that's not just something that just came about today. That's been the case for a very long time. That was the case when we moved from Polaroid pictures. Yeah. OK. Oh yeah, and the people from that the, going day going from the printed estimate to the to just the straight up digital only file. That was right. Amazing. It's going to be tougher. It's going to be tougher to get ahead in this industry because of the technological advances of it. So you have an option. It's to progress with the times, progress with technology, and if that means that the competition is going to narrow out because it's much harder to stay afloat with everybody else, then so be it. Then th that should be more of a reason why you elevate yourself and to become more familiar with the technology that's out there and to become a better marketer and to become a sale better salesperson so that you can be ahead of the masses of people that are out there. This is still by far the easiest, in, in my opinion, at least one of the easiest industries there is to just start making $100,000 like off the bat. It's still the easiest. <laughs> I could start, I could, I could start a, I could start a business in my town, a brick and mortar business right now. And, get, and, and I'm not guaranteed six figures my first year or my second year. I'm going to struggle. Being but negative. cat adjusting? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Cat adjusting? Independent adjusting, I got a good shot at that. Even with photo assists and your Sedgwick's and all this stuff going on. Yep, yep. It's a, it's a, it's a. We'll call it like a premium tier of claims handling. Some carriers are just, they're just not going to do photo assist. You know, they're going to send out right. licensed trained adjusters.